you already know what the freak is going on. Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, we are heading into a new year, and you know what that means. We're leaving all the BS from 2023 that you've been dragging along since 2021, 2016, and it ends now. It ends right now. 2024 is gonna be the year of achieved goals. I'm claiming it for all of us, by your heads. You wanna start a new job? You gotta start it. You wanna start a new channel or something? You gotta start it or something. You wanna get healthier? You're gonna get healthier. Any goal you have, we are going to create a strategic plan, strategic, and make sure you accomplish it tomorrow. Ask not what 2024 can do for you. Ask what you, yeah you, can do for 2024. We are leaving all of our bad habits, all the BS, all the self-doubt, imposter syndrome, who? No. We are leaving all of that in 2023. By the end of 2024, when we have this conversation again, we're gonna be different people, baby. Me and you, mama. Different people. And it all starts today. So grab your notebooks, your pens and your pencils, also your current read, and let's get to work. <laughs> Wait, but do you like my outfit? This is a sweater from Calvin Klein, but actually TJ Maxx. It was $100, but I actually only paid $30, so we're gonna tell people it was $100. And this vest, she's from H&M, yeah. TJ Maxx, famous footwear. Let's go. First thing we have to do is tackle our mental health. We cannot move forward until we have our mind right, which is where today's sponsor comes in, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapy service that connects you with a licensed therapist online. Not only will they listen to you, but they can provide unbiased advice. This is an incredible tool to use to move forward in 2024 because you can not only put to bed all your old trauma, but you can also do it in your own way. So you can either phone them or you can text them or you can even do video calls. It just depends on you and your preference. And with their network of over 30,000 therapists, it's super easy to find someone that you can connect with. All you have to do is use a link in my description box. It's betterhelp.com slash Kalila. And not only does it support me and allow me to afford my own therapy, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp services. Once you click the link, it's super easy. All you have to do is fill out a quick questionnaire, and then you're connected with a therapist within less than 48 hours. So it's super simple. And if you feel like the first match isn't necessarily the one for you, it's okay. There's no extra fees there's no extra stress all you have to do is switch your therapist and see if the next one works better for you for me it took me a few times but then once I found that person I feel like it's a great resource for me especially going into the new year so in 2024 don't just work on your physical health also work on your mental health because it's just as important if you feel like this is something you can benefit from again please use the link in my description box it's betterhelp.com slash Kalila and get your 10% off the first month thank you again BetterHelp, for sponsoring this portion of the video now that we're in the right headspace and we're taking care of our mental health with better help the next step is to deep clean people sleep on how important this is for a new journey for a new chapter personally i do this every single new year every new year or like the week before the actual new year date i deep clean my house because i feel like it allows you to have a clean slate for the new year you you're not taking any of the dirt or the drama from last year into the new year and it allows you to have a clean mind clean home clean mind so that is the next step and you'll be surprised how well this works I've told a few friends who didn't really believe that this was a thing and they tried it and they were so surprised by how much better they felt I just feel like I personally cannot think when my whole space is just messy I feel like my mind becomes cluttered with the things around me so if you also feel the same way or even if you're skeptical just try it this year and I'm telling you it will make a huge difference I don't actually have a lot to do because I've been trying to stay on top of it throughout the week so that when the new year started I'm not doing a thousand things at once that's also a pro tip by the way so we're just gonna tidy up and then we'll get to the next step
I already feel so much better. I feel like a weight has been lifted off. Now we can really put in some work, okay? This step is the most important step. It's like the foundation for what we're gonna do after this. And that is creating a vision board. I know some people don't believe in it and they think it's all hosh posh bagosh, but it's not. It actually works. And here's why. Let me show you my 2023 one. I am showing you this so that, wow, I look like I'm headless. Whoa. I am showing you this so that you understand what you need to do for yours, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my 2023 vision board. I'm showing this to you as an example. Now let me preface this by saying, it's okay if not everything that you want it to happen happens in that one year. Because as long as you're striving for it, you have no choice but to move forward. So even if you don't make it to the finish line, you're definitely way further than you were before you even started envisioning this goal. Personally, I think it's really smart to have quotes that you want to define your year within your vision board. So what I do is I get a bunch of pictures from Pinterest, all the pictures that encapsulate what I want my 2024 to look like. And that's what I did with 2023. So I wanted to eat healthier. And by the way, these pictures don't have to mean anything to anybody else. You don't have to explain this to anybody else. As long as these pictures have significance for you, that's all that matters. And I think that's actually better because when people see this, you can't allow them to enter into your dreams, into your goals and stuff. You know, there needs to be some level of secrecy. And because this is last year's, I feel comfortable with showing this. So I wanted to eat better. This quote meant a lot to me. I wanted to travel in New York City more. I wanted to read more. We definitely did that. I wanted to have the silver plaque within 2023. We did not do that, but I think we can do it in 2024. I wanted to drink more water, have strong, healthy curls. And this quote meant a lot. And just little things like that. I wanted to have peace, clear skin, all these pictures meant something to me. So your homework is to go onto Pinterest, find a bunch of pictures that mean something to you, save them under a folder. You just put like vision board 2024. And then you take all those pictures and then you go to Canva, canva.com. And then you do a blank screen. Let me see what the dimensions is of this. It's under the title of desktop wallpaper. So when you're looking on Canva and you're looking to make a new project, just pick the desktop wallpaper one. Anyway, this is the most important step into creating a 2024 that's worthwhile. So this is what you're gonna do. After you have all your pictures and you create your vision board, these things have to be something that means a lot to you. Now, when you're looking on Pinterest, feel free to get super specific. You can find any rabbit hole that you want to, any rabbit hole that you desire. So for me personally, I wanted to read 52 books again for next year. So I went onto Pinterest and found a bunch of pictures that matched that aesthetic. So for each category in your life, Life, you should really pick more than one option so that you can see which pictures go best with what and it's really fun actually you just move the pictures around see what works with what you resize them and stuff like that and I personally enjoy doing this and then also make sure you find some quotes on Pinterest as well just type in a word that means a lot to you and then find a quote that resonates with you so for me I put in consistency because there are certain things that I am not consistent with not consistent enough with that I really want to change in 2024. So that was my main focus for this year. So I'm gonna give you a quick peek of my 2024. I'm scared though. Ah! Ah! Did you see? I'm scared to put my goals out there, but I shouldn't, I should be strong, strong, independent black woman. Okay, y'all better not curse me. I'm just showing you to help you out, okay? This is my 2024 one. I want healthy hair again. I want to be a full-time content creator. I want to be in touch with nature. I also want to learn how to crochet, for real. I want to go to Japan with my family. These are quotes that mean a lot to me. So this is an example of something that you can do for yourself. Find pictures that mean a lot to you, that speak to you. It doesn't even have to be a really good explanation. It could just be a feeling. Like this one, I want to be fluent in Japanese by the end of 2024. And this was the picture I have to represent that. It's some goldfish on an old newspaper. Does that make any sense to you? Probably not, but it makes a lot of sense to me, okay? And that's all you need. And then when you're done, you make this your wallpaper for every device you have. So for your laptop, if you have a laptop, for your desktop, for your phone, anything. Take this picture and send it to all of your devices so you're forced to see it every single day. This is the end of that step. Now, once you finish your vision board, you've cleaned up your house and you're on top of your mental health, the next step, this was all getting us prepared for this step. 
which is planning for the year. You have to put in actionable goals for everything that you're looking forward to in the new year. I think a lot of people mess up when they just make overarching goals. I wanna be a billionaire. I wanna be skinny. Like those goals are destined to fail because you're not creating stepping stones to get there. Okay, you wanna be skinny. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna eat better, you're gonna meal prep, you're gonna work out how many days a week, blah, blah, blah. You wanna become a billionaire. Okay, you might not be able to do that in a year. Make something that's realistic. What are you gonna do? What kind of job are you gonna get? Are you gonna start a new business? Things like that. You have to make step-by-step -step goals to actually get you there. You can't just create this huge overarching goal without having a plan to get there. You have to have a plan. So that's where this step comes in. You get a planner. I pers This is not sponsored. <laughs> I personally get my planners from Papier. I think that's how you say it. I get my yearly planner from them and they are the freaking best. You can customize it, have your name on it, have the purpose of this year on it. It's fantastic. And what I usually do is on this first page here in the very center, I put in my mantra for the year. So this is another step. Make sure you create a mantra for the year. And that does not include the quotes that you put into your vision board. No, this is something that you say to yourself daily. This is what I personally do. You don't have to, but I have seen a tremendous difference with doing this because getting up and the first thing that you do is create this into your routine and you put your mind into this headspace. It just allows you to stay focused on your goal. No matter if you're having a good day, a bad day, a good week, a bad week, nothing. Your eye is still on the prize. So for me, for this year, my mantra for 2024, on the road to achieving your dreams, you must apply discipline, but more importantly, consistency. Because without commitment, you'll never start, but without consistency, you'll never finish. So 2024 is all about consistency for me. So this is the mantra that I'm gonna say every single day to myself. And it's gonna be the first thing in my planner. I encourage you to do the same. You don't have to get this planner. Again, this is not sponsored. All you have to do is get a cheap planner from Walmart or CVS or whatever local store you have, or even just use a regular notebook. And again, on that front page, put the mantra that you have for that year, and then make sure you apply it. Make sure you actually use it every single day. You can't get mad at these things for not working if you don't actually use them. And that's a very important lesson to learn because I used to try some of these things and I didn't actually stay consistent about it. And then I would get mad when those things didn't work for me, but I saw them working for other people. So keep this in mind. If you're really serious about making 2024 your year, you have to work for it. Nothing in this life is free, okay? You have to work for it. Say it with me. Nothing in this life is free. Nothing in this life is free. Good job. When you have your mantra on the front page of your planner, then you start connecting the dots to all the goals that you're gonna have for the year. So you're gonna have your mantra in the middle, and then you'll have a connection to maybe your health goals. On this side, you have your career goals. Okay, I wanna be out of this job in six months and start my dream job by the end of the year. Something like that. Here, you'll maybe have your book reading goal. I wanna read 100 books this year, and then you'll have that goal there. And then you'll connect all your goals for the year in each category of your life on this front page. So this is your overarching theme for 2024. This is everything you wanna accomplish in 2024. Then when you're done with that page, the next step is to break down each category of your life and set the overarching goal and then steps to get there. I personally break down the year in quarters. So by the third month of the year, I need to have accomplished this. By the next third of the year, I need to have accomplished this and so on and so forth for every single goal. So for 2024, just as an example, I personally wanna read 52 books by the end of the year. By the time March rolls around, I'm gonna make sure that on my Goodreads, I'm still on track. Goodreads kind of makes this goal a little bit easier because it tracks the books and it tells you if you're behind or if you're ahead or if you're on track. So that one's not too hard, but if I'm talking about my fitness goal, maybe I want to work out five days a week and I wanna make sure that I stay at my current weight or maybe I lose five pounds by March. So my goal is I will create my meal plan for the week, every single week. And I'll also create a workout plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I work out Monday through Friday. I don't work out on the weekend, personally. And I will make sure that every day I cross out my habit tracker for the day 
or for the week saying that I worked out. So then in March, I can look back at my progress and see if I'm being consistent. And then you can go even further. You can get super nuanced with each goal. So with my fitness goal, I can say, I need to work out Monday through Friday and I need to get up in the morning and do it. For me personally, working out in the morning is so beneficial because it sets my mind. It sets the tone for the day. I feel energized. I feel powerful. I'm proud of myself. I know that not everyone is up at 5 a.m. and I feel good about myself. That's just me personally. So then then I make sure that that's a goal that I have every day during the work week. So with your personal goals, make sure that in every category of your life, you're just trying to get a little bit better. They don't have to be humongous goals. Maybe some parts of your life you have really big goals and maybe some other parts, they're just smaller. You just want to be consistent on where you're at. That's okay. Just write them down anyway so that you're cognizant of where you are in life so that you know where you're growing more and where you're growing less or what have you, just so that you know exactly where you are because everything needs to be calculable. What? Calc Calculable. Calculable. You need to measure everything, okay? So that you know by the end of the year how much you've grown. And then you can be proud of yourself. Even if it's not exactly the goal that you wanted and the goal that you set, at least you know that you've grown a little bit, you know? Crawling is better than not moving at all. And I want you to be proud of yourself because I really feel like this year can be your year. And not only your year, but gosh darn it, my year too. So let's do it together. Let's keep each other accountable. And last but not least, to make sure that you have a foolproof plan for 2024 is to have backup plans when things don't work out. So if you feel like you're having a hard time one week and you can't exactly stick to your planner goals to the T, you need to be able to have plan Bs for those type of days. So when I initially started getting into planning a little bit more specifically, I used to make sure that I took one day at a time. If I can get through my day doing everything on this list, I'm not looking at tomorrow, I'm not looking at this week, I'm not looking at this long year I have ahead of me. No, I'm looking at today. I woke up today, let me fight and get myself up today. Okay, I did that, I'm proud of myself. Okay, I went to the gym, I worked, I planned my videos, I studied, whatever your plans are. If you go through each day acting as if this is the only thing on your to-do list, then it becomes a little bit easier. You're breaking down your goal into bite-sized pieces instead of trying to stuff a whole big goal in your mouth. What? Pause. Pause. Sorry, that was weird, sorry. My best friend used to say this one thing that has stuck with me since college. So that was like a few years ago. She used to say, every single day is just a list of choices. You get to decide every single step of the way throughout your day, how your day goes. And if you break down each decision throughout the day, as little goals for yourself, little accomplishments, and like treating them as such, telling yourself, I'm proud of myself for waking up. Maybe no one else is telling you. You tell you. You talk to yourself. Please not out loud. I can't really explain that to the people you know if you start talking out loud. Just say it in your head. So, I woke up at 5 a.m. I really did not want to wake up this morning, but gosh darn it, I did it, and I am proud of myself. Good job, you. Let's keep going. I went to the gym. I actually worked out. I didn't sit in my car. Sometimes I do that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Kalila, I'm so proud of you. Look at you. Doing little things like that is gonna make you feel accomplished, make you feel proud of yourself, that you're making these little steps towards your goal. And then you should also have someone, if you can find someone, if you can't, that's understandable too. But if you can find someone that will keep you accountable, that wants to grow too, then you guys can keep each other accountable. And your goals become a lot easier when you're not carrying all the weight, when someone's cheering you on too. I can do my best, but I don't know each and every one of you the way that I would like to, so you need to find people in your life that will keep you accountable, that will cheer you on for the days that you don't actually feel like getting up, for the days that you don't actually feel like studying, for the days that you don't feel like going to work, things like that. Because those are the friends that are gonna help you reach your goal faster. But I will say, even with having a cheerleading squad, even with breaking down your day into each individual decision, sometimes we just don't do it. And that's okay, we're human. Make sure you give yourself grace. As long as you're doing it more often than not, be proud of yourself. And I'm not gonna coddle you. If you're doing it less often than you are like slacking off, then that's a problem and you need to address it. If you really wanna grow, you can't be the problem. The only thing you can control is yourself. So don't add that extra struggle of you having to fight yourself to be successful. Fight for yourself. Don't be afraid of success and don't be afraid of failure. We fail, that is just a part of life. But what you do with that failure really defines it as a failure or not. 
Now I am done preaching. I have said everything that I personally use, everything that's in my personal toolbox. And I gotta say, it's been working out pretty nice for me. Not every single goal has made it to the finish line. Not everything has been done in the time that I want it to be, but I'm never giving up on myself. Never, and neither should you. So I wish you the best of luck in 2024. I wanna hear all your goals down in the comments below, all the ones you're comfortable with sharing because I understand that there are some goals that I'm just too afraid to talk about because I want them so badly and that's okay. Just share the goals that you're excited about talking about and let's keep each other accountable. I will try to keep as many of you accountable as possible and I'm wishing you nothing but success in the new year. Now, I love you so much. Please like and subscribe because I love you. So you better love me and I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year.